Top 10 Things You Didn't Know About Malawi Hello Explorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displow and thanks for watching. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at one of Africa's most friendly countries, Malawi, and present to you 10 things you probably didn't know about this lesser talked about country. Malawi is a landlocked country in southern eastern Africa that was formerly known as Nyazaland. It is bordered by Zambia to the west, Tanzania to the north and northeast, and Mozambique surrounding on the east, south and southwest. Malawi spans over 118,484 square kilometers, inhabited by a population of over 19.1 million. Lake Malawi, also known as Lake Nyasa, takes up about a third of Malawi's area. Its capital is Lilongwe, which is also the country's largest city. The name Malawi comes from the Maravi, an old name of the Nyanja people who inhabit the area. The country is nicknamed the Warm Heart of Africa because of the friendliness of its people. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Malawi's foreign policy is pro-Western and includes positive diplomatic relations with most countries and participation in several international organizations, including the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations, the Southern African Development Community, the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa, and the African Union. Although there was periodic regional conflict fueled in part by ethnic divisions in the past, by 2008 it had diminished considerably and the concept of a Malawian nationality had emerged. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Malawi. Number 1. Its capital city is one of the youngest in Africa. There has been a fishing village on the banks of the Lilongwe River for centuries, but the modern city was only officially founded as a trading post in 1906 and only recognized as a town in 1947. It became the Malawian capital even later, in 1975, when King Ping's status was taken away from Zomba which had stood as an administrative hub in the colonial era. Lilongwe might not be a place which would detain travelers for too long, although the giant tour of the King's African Rifles War Memorial is a reminder that the two world conflicts claimed their share of Malawian lives and hence for now will be the main attention driver in the baby city. Number 2. High Girl Dropout Rate from Education in Malawi, less than 10% of girls earn a high school diploma, given that approximately 20% of school-aged girls are prevented from continuing their education due to lack of menstrual health education and access to menstrual parts. Another reason why girls hardly achieve a diploma is because the country has one of the highest rates of child marriage in the world, with approximately 1 in 2 girls married and or raising children by the age of 18. There have been efforts to educate and discourage early marriages amongst disadvantaged children and orphans in Malawi since the year 2007, and work with local partners to increase girl-child education in rural communities has seen a gradual increase so far. Number 3. The best hiking sites are in Malawi Malawi is home to the highest peak in Africa, south of Mount Kilimanjaro, the stunning Mount Mulanje, rising to 3,000 meters. This peak provides incredible views of the landscape and neighboring Mozambique. But that doesn't come easy as you can enjoy that after hiking your way up. The entire country is a hiker's haven, providing access to incredible hikes, whether it's hiking over the giant rocks of Lake Malawi or scaling the peak of Mount Mulanje. Avid hikers will not be disappointed. With this knowledge, get the hiker in you and let's start now. But if you're not a hiker, we could go visiting the numerous wildlife opportunities the country provides. Just like its neighboring countries, Malawi is home to an outstanding amount of wildlife within its borders. There are close to 200 mammals and over 600 species of birds to explore. Malawi is a viable location for seeking out the diminutive counterparts to the big five, the little five which are undersized mammals, insects, birds and creepy crawlers, with similar names which haunt the trees, soil and undergrowth. These are the elephant shrew, the buffalo weaver, the leopard tortoise and the ant lion and the rhino beetle. Number 4. Quite a few tour operators have mapped out the country's touristic sites. It is unlikely to be the country you type into a search engine if you're planning a first trip to Africa, but for those who love the continent, Malawi is an intriguing part of the tapestry. And there are professionals on hand to make a visit possible, easy, and processes understandable. And this is thanks to several sites whose operation to cover most important aspects stories search for. Such sites include Expert Africa, Steps Travel, Timbuktu Travel, Robin Pop Safaris, Explore and Cox and Kings. Experts Africa rather sums up the country within the following commentary. Malawi has few safari areas and none are very famous. There is relatively little tourism in Malawi. Watching local children play around the lake, you quickly understand why Malawi is promoted as the warm heart of Africa. 
and Malawi wants the world to know that the aspect of itself as well as the fact is that it is the best place to enjoy the unseen glories of Africa. There's a wealth of extra details through the local tourist board, MalawiTourism.com. Number 5. Malawi has one of the best coffee and tea in the world. One of the many perks of visiting Malawi is to enjoy some of the best coffee and tea in the world. Malawi is home to the world supplies of high quality of Arabica coffee and the citizens spare no seed when it comes to enjoying the best of the fruits of their labor. Tea is also a huge culture as estates such as Satemwa Tea Estate deliver some of the most tasteful and healthy teas in the country. While in Malawi, visit some of the cafes available and join in this beautiful tradition while it still lasts given that there are threats to it. Coffee was found to be more affected in Malawi by climate change as suitable areas will likely disappear by 2050s and hence measures are being taken to avert this future problem. Number 6. Malawi had a change of name. The part of Africa now known as Malawi was settled by migrating Bantu groups around the 10th century. Centuries later, in 1891, the area was colonized by the British. In 1953, Malawi was then known as Nyazaland, a protectorate of the United Kingdom, became a protectorate within the semi-independent federation of Rhodesia and Nyazaland. The federation was dissolved in 1963. The next year, the protectorate over Nyazaland was ended and Nyazaland became an independent country under Queen Elizabeth II, with the new name being Malawi, and two years later it became a republic. Upon gaining independence, it became a totalitarian one-party state under the presidency of Hastings Banda, who remained president until 1994. Malawi now has a democratic, multi-party government headed by an elected president, currently Lazarus Chakwera. Number 7. Malawi is struggling to stay afloat Malawi is amongst the world's least developed countries. The economy is heavily based in agriculture with a largely rural population that is growing at a rapid rate. The Malawian government depends heavily on outside aid to meet development needs, although this need has decreased since 2000. The Malawian government faces challenges in building and expanding the economy, improving education, healthcare, environmental protection, and becoming financially independent amidst widespread unemployment. Since 2005, Malawi has developed several programs that focus on these issues, and the country's outlook appears to be improving, with a rise in the economy, education, and healthcare seen in 2007 and 2008, but the growth is hard to maintain. Malawi has low life expectancy, high infant mortality, and a high prevalence of HIV and AIDS which is a drain on the labor force and government expenditures. With all these issues, the government is barely struggling to stay afloat. Number 8. Lake Malawi is superlative. Malawi is mostly covered by water and it comes with some of the most beautiful and colorful fishes you can think of. Lake Malawi is a big world tourist attraction partly because of its sheer size covering 350 miles and because it is home to more species of fish than any other lake on the planet, including some 700 types of sea cheats the little, colorful, defined creatures which flicker and flutter in its shallows. David Livingston described it as a lake of stars, referring to the thousands of fishing boats which drift across the surface at night, the lanterns on their prows visible from shore. The make of experience even more profound, Pumulani Lodge, a luxury beach resort at the south end of the lake, has its own telescope set up for a new low bank of rock above the water, through which guests can gaze up in the crystal heavens. The vast array of sea cheats found in Lake Malawi are virtually all endemic to the lake. Thus, these sea cheats are globally popular as aquarium fish because of their bright colors. Some reports estimate that there are close to 3,000 species of them in Lake Malawi, the most of any lake in the world. Lake Malawi is also home to the top places to go snorkeling in Africa. Head to Cape Marclare and you'll find several great hotels as well as some of the cleanest waters in the world. Number 19. Malawi is in a dispute with Tanzania. As some African countries enjoy enormous and long coastlines, Malawi is hemmed in all sides by others. Big people such as Mozambique to the east, south and southeast, by Zambia to the west, Tanzania to the east and northeast. By the quake of 19th century bureaucracy, the precise route of the border within the latter is the source of ongoing controversy as the Haley Goland Zanzibar Treaty of 1890, drafted between Britain and Germany in the carved up of Africa is unhelpfully vague on where exactly the frontier runs. And over a century later, Tanzania and Malawi are still at odds as to who owns what and where. These consequences which emanated from colonialism and the fact that the colonial nations were only interested in what they could gain out of Africa and not paying attention or a care on how they partitioned the continent talk less of the future ramifications. 
Malawi being landlocked depends on a lot on its coastline blessed neighbors and so borderline feud is not only what they have in luxury to hold up to. Mainly, the dispute between Tanzania and Malawi is about whether the border runs firmly up the middle of Lake Malawi or ebbs along its edge. Officially, it does the latter, but the discovery of oil reserves under the surface of the lake has brought out claims on both sides leading to a border dispute over the lake, which is so large that it occupies over a third of the Malawian territory. Number 10. There are echoes of Scotland in Malawi. Deep in the south of the country, the second city, Blantyre, was founded by Scottish settlers in 1876. Blantyre was named in honour of Blantyre in South Lancashire, which is a squaring of a circle. It was the birthplace of David Livingstone in 1813. The comparisons go deeper than mere names as Glasgow, Blantyre can boast some of the elevation which defines the Scottish landscapes as it sits in the Shire Highlands, at an altitude of some 1039 metres. This gives it an occasional coolness of weather, which was a primary attraction force to the first European settlers. Another similarity is a further throwback to fallen centuries in the city's Protea Hotel Rails, which dates back to 1921 and prefers a courtyard swimming pool for lazy afternoons, typical of Scottish afternoons. There you have it, explorers. Those were 10 things you probably didn't know about Malawi. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, do want to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.